hi people how are you doing today god bless you thank you so much for joining me i <laughs> i'm thinking that you saw the title and you're wondering loaded mango tree what is she about to what is she about to talk about now what is she going to talk about fruits i i really don't want to talk about fruits well not the physical fruit when i speak of loaded mango tree i speak of you as a person and the fact that the enemy keeps coming at you in the scriptures you are told in galatians that you should be a good good fruit and the scripture tells you about the fruit of the spirit and the fruit even though it says fruit it's not one characteristics but it's it's more than one characteristics that makes up the fruit right and one of them is love one is forbearance or long suffering peace joy etc and you may be wondering why is it that i'm getting so much opposition my friend it is possible that you are getting that opposition because you are a loaded mango tree you are loaded when i say loaded you are loaded and the enemy sees that so he's throwing stones at you he's throwing stones sometimes we may get discouraged and say god but i'm living for you i'm doing my best to to, to exhibit what you want me to exhibit so why am i getting attacked that is why you're being attacked my friend you are loaded the enemy sees that you are bearing good fruit he sees that you are winning souls. He sees that you are for the things of God. And he's trying to bring you down. What does that mean? It means that if you're okay, if you're not facing some form of warfare, something is wrong. Something is wrong. Because the enemy doesn't attack who, attack who doesn't threaten his kingdom. And if you're loaded, you are big threats. Because when you're loaded, you have the influence to call other people unto God. Makes sense, doesn't it? I mean, why would he trouble you if you didn't trouble him? Why would he? And I believe it's because of this, the fact that you, you face trials and tribulations when you're trying to live for God, that some people tend to shy away from things that God has called them to do because they believe that if they hide in the background, Satan is not going to mess with them. But once they're on the forefront, once they're on the, the front line of the battlefield, Satan is going to attack them. But my friends, be encouraged. Be encouraged. Do not be scared into the background. You are made to shine. You are made to be a light. The Lord said that you should not hide your light under a bushel. So yes, the tribulations and trials will come because the Lord did say that in his words. However, remember that he will never leave nor forsake you. And everything that you're going through, he's been through it. He tasted death for you. He tasted death. And for many people, that's what they're scared of more than anything else. They're scared of dying. But I put it to you this afternoon. Or whatever time it is, wherever you are. Are you supposed to be afraid of death? Really? But I, because I don't think that we should be afraid of death. And because of that, we hide in the background. What we should be concerned about is dying and not having fulfilled our purpose that God has placed us on this earth to do. That's what we should be concerned about. When family members die, that's one of the things that we should be concerned about and about their salvation, which pretty much goes hand in hand, I believe. Once you've, come, once you've been saved and you've come into the knowledge of the Lord Christ, Jesus, Jesus the Christ, once you've come into the knowledge of him, then automatically, I believe, you would seek out your purpose. And then when you die, you die empty, as Dr. Miles Monroe would put it. So you should not be afraid of dying. 
Be concerned about dying with your purpose still intact. So live life limitless. Live life for Christ to the fullest. Give Christ your all because he gave his all for you. And know that because you are loaded, that's why you're being attacked. That's why you're being attacked. Notice, you see some people thriving and you're saying to yourself, um, but they aren't Christians and they have this. They don't have any family problems. They don't have any money problems, all these things. Or oh, really... Be reminded that people are not going to show the behind the scenes, especially on social media. People aren't going to show behind the scenes. They're going to show you their highlight reel. And you see them and you envy them and you wonder, God, what is happening? Why am I not getting this? Why am I not getting that? Also know that a lot of these things that people get, they didn't get them the right way. They are miserable. Yes, they might drive a Benz, have a nice car, make six figures, whatever the case may be. They look sharp or fly or whatever the case may be. But they are miserable because they don't have the peace that surpasses all understanding. Don't get me wrong. God wants you to prosper. He says that he wants you to prosper as your soul prospers. But prosper in the right way. Because many people measure prosperity by what you have, the amount of stuff that you have. For me, that's not prosperity. And I don't believe that's what God wants you to have only. Yes, he wants you to be comfortable, of course. Our, our God is a king. We are, we are heirs, we are joint heirs to the kingdom. So of course we have to look good, we have to smell good, we have to, you know... Be excellent in what we do. However, that should not be our main goal. And when we are blessed in such a way, we should be giving back to the kingdom. It shouldn't be in a selfish pursuit that we go after certain things. It shouldn't be selfish. So when you go through trials and tribulations, like the scripture says, count it all joy. Yes, the enemy is stoning you. But be, it's because your fruit is ripe and nice and flourishing. Count it all joy. Ask God for the grace to go through. Because many times we want to be taken out of situations that God doesn't want to take us out of. He wants us to go through it because he's molding us for the next level. We might find ourselves sometimes going through the same thing over and over again. Maybe it's because you keep failing the test. Because when the trials come, you don't see the lesson in the trials. You just, oh God, I want to come out. This is so uncomfortable. Yes, we've all been there. And we're going to go there. Eventually, if you've not. Because I believe in every season of life, you have to go through things. How else are you going to learn? How else are you going to mature? How else? So as the situations come, I know, I know it's not going to be easy. I know it's not the nicest feeling going through some of the things you're going through, the different types of warfare. But count it all joy and ask God for grace because he will never leave nor forsake you. I mean, we have angels at our disposal. Our angels are bored. We need to give our angels things to do when the situations come we need to give our angels those situations. We need to bind some spirits. Bind up some spirits and loose some blessings on our lives. After all, the Lord said, whatever we bind on earth is bound in heaven. Whatever we loose on earth is loosed in heaven. So you, my friend, my loaded mango tree, count it all joy. Your fruit is looking good. Work on it daily. I make the devil mad. He can stone. The stones may come. They may come near. Sometimes we may get bruised. You know, but sometimes the bruised mangoes are the sweet mangoes. I'm just saying. But do not faint. Do not faint. Let him continue stoning. His time is going to come when he's going to be bound. Right now, rebuke him. Continue to bear good fruit and be blessed.
my loaded mango trees. <laughs>